What's going on everybody? We are live. STL Sunday, 3D Printing Sunday, 3D Sunday, all of the different names we call this stream. The point of this stream is, is that we pick an object or an item or a couple items, whatever it is, and we go through the 3D design process using Fusion 360. Fusion, th Fusion 360 is a program you can download for free. Uh, it does take some hoops to jump through to get the personal license for free, but you can do it. Um, and the design that we go through is generally aimed towards being able to 3D print it in the end. So that's what we do. We pick ridiculous items. Rarely we pick a useful item, but every once in a while it happens. So that's the plan. Hopefully everyone's uh, rolling in. Looks like audio is working at least. And yeah, so check in where you guys are from. Make sure everything's working. I see a couple people already. Iowa, South Florida, Phoenix. I see. So tonight I pre-chose a couple of items um, The uh, it, to, to start at least we can choose them. We'll see what we got. Uh, I picked a plasma table. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what a plasma table is, but it's like a CNC uh, plasma cutter. You see them in fabrication shops often. It's a common tool. I figured we could do that. It might give us something that we could have movable 3D printing so that if you want a scale accessory for your scale scene, garage, whatever it is, then this would be something you could use. The other option was actually because Vidjo, who often joins us and who often makes fairly humorous uh, Facebook posts or Instagram posts more, uh, more correctly, he was saying that he was going to be doing like a uh, redneck front yard scene. And it kind of turned out that mo a lot of the things that we've already drawn in the past kind of fit in right in that vein, you know, washing machines, refrigerators, lawn mowers, <laughs> all kinds of things that wouldn't be all that uncommon to see in somebody's front yard back where I'm from. So, you know, uh, so those are a couple of options. Then the other option is, is that we can go with some sort of viewer suggestion. So, Thanks everybody for checking in. I see everyone rolling in there. North Carolina, Missouri, Argentina, Alberta, Illinois, North Carolina, Sydney, Australia, Jesse Mack, quarantined in the bedroom. Ooh, quarantined. Illinois, Clear Lake, outhouse. Need an outhouse for the shot. Scale toilet. 29 Palms, down by King of the Hammers, Johnson Valley. And so Missouri, Texas, El Camino up on blocks. That would be a little bit longer. A couch, <laughs> air compressor we've done. I say shop vac. That's a, that's one that would be easy as well. <laughs> Your fly is open. Very funny, Gerald. Well, actually, let's say, wait, do I have, I, was like, I thought I was on my, my second camera here, which I was like, oh, could you see? But you can't see no matter what I'm still. Working a working shop vac. That's a good oof. These are these are merely scale accessories for design use. So, um, the uh, like I was saying, we have a couple of a couple of possible things that we could go with. Uh, if we choose a quick item, a workbench, that one might be a little bit too simple, even. Pink flamingo. <laughs> Let's pressure pressure washer is not bad. Recliner. Flexible shop back tube would be sick. That see those things. There's a lot of things like that where you just have to if you think about it ahead of time and you you try and come up with something that's flexible and kind of build around it, then that becomes pretty easy. But so this is the opening screen of Fusion 360. Once you just actually, you know, open it up, this is your blank document. Now I don't go through every single step of what I'm doing. I kind of run through things. A lot of what it is, is just uh, me kind of, you can kind of see me go through the process. I've done some weeks where I really break it down, but for the most part, this is a, a fun stream where we go through and pick an item and just kind of, I walk you through my thought process of breaking something that may be more complex and kind of uh, breaking it down a little bit more. A scale RC dyno. That would be so big though. Our trucks are actually big. So, um, 
what happened to the camper? That's just one of those things. Like I need to get back. I almost feel like I, it's one of those ones that I got into the design of it. And I feel like I almost have to, I want to restart. Be, it's just one of those. And it becomes one of those projects and there. I almost need to restart and then go from there. I feel like there were some design things, choices that I made, especially with breaking it up that I didn't like the, the choices that I made. Some ceiling light fixtures. Oh, that would be fun. That's another, that one, I guess I would need to have some, I don't have any LED strip. Maybe I'll pick some of that strip up and I can go from there. Um, so let's, um, we're going to start with my, my plasma table. And that's because, because, and then hopefully we have a little bit of time. We can bust out something else. Um, now plasma tables, let's say we do a, a, four foot by four foot plasma table, 48 inch. So uh, four point, oops, 4.8 inches. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna round that to 120 just to make that, make that simple on me. And I'm gonna start as the actual, the base of this thing, the floor. Yeah, a lot of the, uh, a lot of like the items that are, you can actually already get easily, I don't choose to do just because if they're already available, I don't really necessarily want to just make another version. Oops. Mm. Edit that sketch. I'm just kind of thinking of how I want to actually go about this. I think we're going to start by making a frame. This plasma table comes with real sparks if you make sparklers. <laughs> so we're gonna, this should actually go pretty quickly and then we might be able to have uh, have another project that goes also. Let's do uh, 10 millimeters tall. I'm going to do a second inset. We're gonna do some, let's go three millimeters in on the bottom. gave us a bit of a frame that will be the, you know, the base of the frame to, and then our slats, we're going to put around the t inside. Now I'm going to make those all connected. So we're going to inset that by negative 0.5 millimeters. That gives us just a little bit of, a little bit of tolerance. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. I don't know why it won't let you offset from an offset. seems like that should just still be something that it allows. And so we're going to do a, actually we can, we're going to make that a little bit thinner. Let's go 1.1.2. 1. 1. So we're going to do a frame and then like a, a plasma table has a, Generally, it's got slats of metal going along it and you put the sheet on that. And then as it cuts, the sheets don't, you know, whatever part you cut doesn't end up falling through because it's supported in areas by those, those pieces of metal. Generally they're replaceable or, or always they're replaceable. You wouldn't want them to not be replaceable. Let's do. I'm going to do one point or actually two millimeters. Now, one thing I'm going to do is do, I'm going to inspect just so I don't have to do actual math. So from there to there is 107 millimeters. I need to subtract two. So 105. And the reason I did that math is because I'm going to select a couple of items. I'm going to go up to the rectangular pattern and I'm going to pull this this dimension, I'm going to do 105. And then we're going to increase the number of slats. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. It's this number. We're going to just increase that until we see the look that we want. Uh, 
Hey Josh, how big is the table on my home's printer? Um, I think it's like 220 by 220. Uh, my printer is very similar to like the Ender printers. Uh, it's not, but that's the one I suggest. So I'm gonna turn it off the other bot. Uh, it's still making it. We're just selecting the contours from our sketch to extrude what our shape will be. We're getting there, 18 of these things. This will of course be a multi-piece print like most of the one, most of the prints that we make are. Um, let's go five, that's fine. I'm going to hit A for the appearance menu and I'm going to open up a add a contrast to now I kind of feel like we should I'm going to modify that first body and make it a little bit shorter. I don't need it to be quite as tall. Let's just go I did two millimeters at the bottom. And I did five there, so I think seven. Yes, there we go. Will I ever make a scale garage? For me, oh wow, my I, my text was not scrolling, so sorry about that. Uh, I will probably not make a scale garage. It's not. Uh, I mean, it just takes up a lot of space, but a lot of people make really cool ones, so. I do find that they are cool. They're just not something I am going to. I thought Tim was just messing with me saying his he didn't have any volume because that's Mike J's joke. But then turned out his volume on his computer was off. We are designing tonight a CNC plasma table. So I'm going to try and give it an actual moving gantry and everything. So something something fun, but also quick and simple to make. So I also want to make this thing print friendly. So let's, uh, okay, I have an idea. I want to make it so that you can, you know, print these things. I like to try and do it without support. Um, ah, yes, my new desktop, by the way. And I did get it, I wood sealed it this weekend. So I got that done as well. It was a productive weekend. So I'm going to do something like this. This is going to be one of the legs. 10 there, 10 there. We're going to inset it just slightly. Now I want to, I might have to make that a little bit bigger. What I want to do, we're going to do a 2.5 millimeter hole. I'm going to hit C for circle again and then hit X to make a construction line. Oh, let's do a uh, six and then I'll hit X and it'll just turn into a construction. Well, I was hoping that I could fit a three millimeter screw between these slats, but I can't. So, I guess it could screw in from the bottom up. Does the wood seal uh, change the feel of the wood? It did. It's nice. It's just a little bit nice and a little bit smoother. Went with a hardwood sealer, hardwood floor sealer uh, by Bona. And it was their extra matte. So it doesn't have a lot of shine to it. It's very nice. Okay. Um, I think we're going to cheat a little bit with these slats and we're going to modify it. So that's okay. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to handle that 
ourselves. No, I'm not going to do that. Changing my mind again. I'll modify the base a little bit, but. Let's see, I'm going to go three in. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, actually. Make that screw hole on this uh, 3.5, a little bit larger for the pass through. We're going to make it thread into the table rather than base. So we'll go down. We're going to go down three. We're going to make this a new body rather than a join. to do that again and we're going to do some non-solid legs three by three I would print these just how I'm showing it here so Let's say that thing would be 32 inches off the ground. So 3.270, let's go 60, something like that. So just a, a simple, a simple leg. I'm going to pull up a plasma table on So one thing we could do is on that previous sketch edit, I'm actually make these a little bit larger. We're going to go like 15, 15. My house guests just show up. There we go. So there we go. That looks a little bit a little bit better. And then I'm just going to do a quick trim like that. Let's do five. Why? Come on, point. There we go. House guests, yes, some friends of ours are going to join us. Well, me, Nicole was supposed to be here, but. So I'm going to do that kind of a taper cut like that on the legs just for a little bit of style. Five there. There. So doing that, cut through. So I put a hole there and that, let's go like that. I need to modify the base to accept that. So. That is why we're going to hit P for project to grab that circle. So I have the geometry. We're going to go 2.5 and we'll just grab all of that geometry actually. That's weird. So that's just negative two, I believe. And I'm not going to hit join. We'll just do new body for now. But I'll move that around and that'll allow me to. Uh, and then I can actually join it at the end when it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to do a pattern, circular pattern, and I'm going to grab, oops, not 
faces, we're going to do bodies and select those two pieces. The axis is going to be our origin, four of them. And now you can see it just moved everything around the table. Okay. Now it moved our mounting point and everything. So we're going to hit a combine and I'm going to select the outer frame and those four top pieces. Hit OK. So now it made that part of it. One thing that I didn't do properly though is I needed to... Oh, I drew it properly. I didn't extrude it properly. I needed to grab that inner as well. But we just rolled back in the history and now we'll have updated everywhere. So um, now the only thing is, is that that's only two millimeters of thread. So I'm thinking that we're going to grab that and then I'm going to do I'm thinking here. That's just a table. It really doesn't need much. I'm going to undo that. So. Okay. We've got the slatted top. The legs. We're in good shape. So one thing that we do need now is we need to add the rails along the side where the actual plasma gantry would slide. Um, so looking back, I probably I could have inset the inner portion of that table a little bit more. What if we do that? Oops. We're going to move it. So I'm going to let's just see if this works. Go back and I'm trying to give myself a little bit more. So we're still going to do three millimeters on the top like we had before, but on the sides, I'm going to try and give myself like six. And then we also need to fix this. So I think it lost our initial offset. Negative point five. Oh. That's one point two. And Let's see. Oh, oops, that was the wrong thing that I was. I forgot that was not the inner sketch. That was the. Uh... That was actually, what was I calling it? The, uh, the under base or whatever you want to. So sometimes this happens. I could have done it without, uh, going all the way back, but 
makes for a cleaner design history at least until you have to redo all of it. That's okay. Point five. That's point five. And then we just need to move that in. And that should be one point two. Go. Point five. Ah, fixed it. Okay. So the reason for going back and redoing all that was to give myself some extra width here on the side. And that is going to be our our rail area of a CNC plasma. So we're going to do, so I have six millimeters here. One thing we could do is we could do, I'm going to add a two millimeter lip onto the outside of both. And that's because I'm going to leave myself then four millimeters to the inside, which happens to be the width of a five by 11 bearing. So we can bearing support the whole gantry. Then we'll, we'll ride on some bearings. Let's just go up. Whoops. Not 20, just two. So I'm going to do one other thing, I'm just going to put a two millimeter lip at the front and back edge so that our gantry doesn't fall off the table because that would be unfortunate. But bearings on 3D printed things, always cool. So we're going to take that out for cover it makes, gives us the width that I was looking for. So I'm going to mirror that last feature, select that, select plane, hit okay. So there we go, both sides. Let's draw our hypothetical bearing. And let's do a that of four and a little bit more, 4.5. four wide, and that's going to be new body there. This video game sucks. Who's winning? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. So I think that we're probably going to want two bearings per side though. Otherwise it's going to be awfully tippy. Whoops. Cancel. So we're going to go back. We're going to do a move. We're going to hit create a copy though. And 13 millimeter separation. Yeah. So, okay. And then I'm going to mirror bodies, select both and select the mirror plane. Hit okay. So now we'll build the gantry around this. And so let's start a sketch on, 
actually let's do a construction plane. I'm going to select that face and then I'm going to offset it by one millimeter. Giving us some freedom. Now let's do let's do I don't always like putting uh, sometimes making a five millimeter bore and then trying to put a three millimeter screw through it. Things get really weak and it's easy to, to break. But um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do a 2.5 millimeter screw hole here and I'll explain that more, but 2.5. We'll do like some separate bushings so that if you do crack them, it's not such a, you don't have to reprint this whole piece or whatever it's going to be. So let's do a, oops, four. We're going to try and cover these bearings it's a decent amount. It's three, yeah, there we go. Five, and then, well, let's go four. And then I think we're going to design some sort of column to go over the top. So how much do we need here? I think we're going to need like eight millimeters width wise. Let's go with, uh, we'll start with five. There we go. Right, I'm going to make sure that that there we go. We'll go out three millimeters. Whoop, we missed a profile. Or contour. There we go. We'll clean this all up later, make it look a little bit. So that's going to be, I might, I'm going to make, oh, we're going to get there. Yeah, actually I'm going to do it now. I'm going to add some provisions in for, I think I can do it with a single. 3.5 millimeter screw, so we're going to crank this up to eight. That that'll give me a mounting point for the the actual beam that goes across. Still don't feel like it's going to be tall enough. It's not. Let's make that. Let's go with that. Of course, need to keep that. There. 12, but we can put on a, where is, uh, where it, sorry. Why is it not popping up? Ah, we'll do that. We'll do it in a minute. Two 
0.5. And we'll do new body. So from here, we're going to do Actually, I'm just hit OK for now. I need to actually do that, but I'm going to roll that back for a second. And then I'm going to mirror this body first so I can extrude up to it. Mirror, body. Select the mirror plane as the right. Move it over. There you go. Now. So, extents, we're going to go to object and then select that face still new body so this will be separate parts is that alexa nicole in here no that is well that is nicole on the phone but in the other room <laughs> oh talking with our friends did in from a distance so this will be the uh the tram, hopefully the, the rails and everything will keep everything running fairly square. Now we need, uh, I don't know what you would, I don't know what you would actually call the, it's not a spindle head. It's just the head that the plasma would be on that would actually run from side to side. So for that, let's do based on this profile for now. I'm going to hide that body so I can actually see and then project it. And then I'll offset from that by 0.5 millimeters. So so that and I'll do 1.6. All right, 1.6. That bar is hitting the bear. Oh yeah, I know. I'll put a I'll put a chamfer on that. I just didn't do it yet, but we'll get there. Um, why is that not? I don't know why that's not fully defined yet. Very bizarre. So, and then we're from here, I'm just going to pull that out 10. That's fine. New body. Now I'm actually going to move that whole thing over just so that that'll actually kind of slide. Now that that part won't be on bearings, but that's okay. I'll pull that down. This is going to be the side that I'll have the, uh, torch head, plasma torch head on. So we'll pull that down about like that. I'll hit OK. Now the only other thing we need to put on the actual platform. Uh, we'll do a little bit larger, three. Okay. So, Hey, Jeremiah, thank you for the donation. Hey, Josh, I've been thinking of getting a drone. I know it will be a DJI. Which drone would you, do you have? I have the Mavic pro. Um, if I was going to do one, I'd probably get the, the smaller one though, just because for me, it's nicer to be able to kind of pack that thing a little bit smaller and get it to move it around. So if I was buying a new one today, I think I'd buy like the Mavic mini but that would be my preference so we're going to th throw a chamfer on this edge to help dodge those Let's see that that'll let us get out of that way hit okay oh now the other thing is i only had one screw going in from the side um and that whole thing then wouldn't necessarily stay in line so what I think we should do 
is I'm going to project that surface. I'm going to project this surface. And then I'm going to offset that by 0.5. And I'll just grab this bottom corner and go straight over both sides. And the reason for that is that I'm just going to grab those two and pull that out a millimeter and a half. Yeah. So, and actually a half a millimeter per side is probably a little much. So let's just go to 0.25 millimeters, tighten it up a little bit. So that'll be, that'll be fine like that. And we're just gonna go 0.25 millimeters there. Yeah, that looks better. Grab that there and on this side, 0.25. So now that whole thing won't rotate. Josh, my wife wants a bug, wants a buggy. Any recommendations? She's good at, oh, actual racing. Like I am not, I am of no use to you there. I have zero track buggy experience at all. So yeah, no, I, I will be of, of zero assistance. Right, we can, we can skip that. I do need to mirror that to the other face though. So we need to select that and that mirror plane right side. And hit okay. I don't know why that didn't join over there, but that's okay. I can do that myself. Okay, so fix that. Yes, I have zero track. <laughs> Oops. So, okay. Um, now I'm going to do a small cut here, I think. Let's go. 3.5. So I'm going to put a hole through that. There, add. Okay, so I think that'll be good. Um, one thing we could do is I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna put like a kind of a groove in the top just for a little bit of visual interest. up to that and hit okay. So just something. Now I could do chamfer in there too. 1.5 or did I do, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I see no blood. <laughs> I was this going to cut plasma. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know if we should make that kind of follow. I don't think it needs to follow that. So, um, that there, we do need the head. Uh, 
the actual plasma torch itself. Laser pointer off Amazon for the cutter. Oh, I don't know if it would be big. I think it'd be too big. But that is a good idea. That's a really good idea. Good thinking, Dale. So, now I would print this piece on its side most likely. You could print, I mean, you could print this. This is a pretty easy piece. You'll, no matter which way you print it, it'll probably be just fine. Um, what I think, I think I would just put a screw from the bottom up so that it's got like that metal, you got a cap head screw underneath. It'll give it some metallic look. It'll make it look like it's, um, got some, something to, I know that that's currently showing it's collided in the radius, but that'll be all right. We'll figure, I'll put a, is 10, I think 10 will probably, we'll just go uh, 9.5. New body, that there. That's all right. We'll do something like something like that. New bot, and now let's throw a yeah. that. Okay. I have a cat trying to say hello. Just something now. The only other thing that I would do um, on a plasma table, you can see that they usually have like the the cable chain or some wire, something like that. Um, I would grab just some sort of motor wire, scrap wire, anything you have, and put it in the top of the plasma, and then just kind of uh, wrap it around. Like if I if I was that I'm going to keep a two millimeter hole in that. And then, like I said, I would just put a wire in there or like you guys are saying, if you're going to put a red led, that would be sweet. So that would give you a, an area that you could actually run some cabling down. Um, but I think that would be, Doing something like that, giving it some detail, would be pretty slick. That, I'm just, these details here are all no purpose, not matching any style. This is just because it's not really even that reminiscent of an actual plasma head, but let's throw a piece, some color at it, duplicate that, and then edit it. that what about three millimeter red so it's not so blurry let's see a five milliwatt red dot laser on amazon would work per see if you guys do something cool like that that would be awesome i hope that somebody does make this that cool because that would be amazing and i would be I would love to see it. And if you do, again, please send me the photos. There we go. Will that collide? Nope. I know I could turn off the, uh, I could turn off the bodies and see things easier, but fun would that be? Oh, 
Let's save this since we haven't done that yet. Plasma table. So, um, is this a CNC machine? It's a CNC plasma. So like you would use this to cut metal shapes out. And then that's, they're common in fab shops, things like that. They're pretty simple. Now I have not built a computer controller on it. I think that we could do something like that quickly though. And that would wrap this one up and then we can get to another quick project for the evening, something that you guys suggest. So let's turn the other one on. I don't see any issue with our gantry. I think that'll all bolt up well. Oh, I needed to make, like I said, I didn't like, I didn't want to put the actual. So we're going to do a Three point five millimeter there to this is going to be four point seven five, and then I'm going to extrude that five millimeters. And this is going to be a new body. Okay. Now what I just did or the point of doing that was that it's going to be a very small bushing and you're just going to, if you have metal bushings at home, then great. You can use those and drop those in be super easy, but I didn't want to hate doing it so that you have to put a screw through it because then it, it ends up breaking or cracking. You have to read 3d print the whole thing. And it's kind of a pain. So, um, this way, what I make this screw hole 2.5. So technically you'll put the screw in from the outside in, or, um, we could make it, we could make this 3.5. You could put a button head inward and then do a, like a washer and a nut that would probably look better. Wouldn't it? I think that would be better. Let's do that. Oops. 3.5. Can't wait to buy a 3D printer so I can use your files. I hope you do. Do it. Um, there we got that. Now I mirrored these two things before, uh, adding all my fillets, but that's okay. I'm going to do that, make these things look a little better. Put a two there and we'll do a couple of fillets up here. Everything gets filled. Five. That doesn't look so terrible then. And some small matching chamfers at the top. I think those are only half a mil. Yep. That should be good. So again, I would take and kind of loop some wire and we'll run it over. So we'll do a, should we do a control screen? Or do you guys think you need it? Do you want it? We shall see. Is there anything else I need to add? These things aren't very, there's not much else to these. I think that'll, that'll pretty much do it other than quick control. Okay. We'll do a quick one and then we'll move on to our, another, another project of some sort. Um, let's, do I want to have it come off of, 
Let's make it come off of the table rather than off of the gantry itself. I'm going to do a couple of screw holes, 2.5, and then we'll just do an equal. We'll do eight, two, Now we're just going to get those centered. There we go, something like that. I uh, will just match it to that. There we go. Okay. So that gives us a surface. Now we'll do a 3.5 there. 3.5. And I want to make sure that it dodges that control panel or that gantry up there. Five, new body. Okay, I just need to Hey Josh, what would you suggest to smooth out prints? Um I actually haven't done much of it, but I did purchase this XTC 3D, which is supposed to be great for smoothing PLA and things like that. I haven't used it yet though, so I don't know. I don't usually do a lot of it. Yeah, turning on ironing's another one, you know. So we're gonna do a control panel, something at an angle like that, because angles are cool or something. 25, one inch screen. Six mil thick. This really doesn't matter as far as positioning. So we're just going to do something like that. Now let's grab these 22. Now we're just going to throw a little bit of detail simulating a screen area. I uh, will go 1.6 so that it's a multiple of the width of your extruder. Most extruders are 0.4 millimeters, so that gives us four even borders. Negative 0.6 gives you... Now, I would suggest trying to put some sort of detail in there that makes it look like a Now, the only other thing to do is we're going to do something that represents some sort of keys. That, and then like, actually, we could just do, let's do this. I'm going to do these as three by three, one mil off, one mil off. And then I'm going to grab that geometry and bring things in line. One mil's too much, oops.
I'm going to grab uh, this and do a quick pattern, rectangular pattern. I'm just going to drag it. Let's do four, about like that. Yeah. And then two down. Psh, done. Oh, I forgot the top. I didn't grab the top line. One more time. All those. We're going to go four in that direction. Like that. Two down. Boom. It will it not let me. There we go. Oh. Close enough. So we're going to just drop that down by a half. That gives us something. And lastly, let's throw the big red button on it. That would be up to you guys to detail, but every CNC has the big red button press in case of emergency. Let's throw a throw a couple of chamfers on this, that, and then some small ones down here. Okay, so that'll bolt on something simple. There you go. Scale plasma table. Let's do another. Oh, HD on. Oh, on the screen. Okay, that's it. We didn't. I don't want to do it on the screen because I feel like somebody could actually detail that. Um, where could we put it? I don't want to. Oh, I know what we could. No. On the gantry? Yeah, I'll do that. I think that's. We'll do text that HD impact six, yes, point five, seven, seven it is. Over here, finish. And we're going to do a cut. Negative point four. There we go. That's pretty quick and easy. Plasma head will move. Whole gantry will move. Slide. You got a table there. Legs will bolt on properly. They'll bolt from the bottom up. They'll put four short screws in that way. Five mil, five to six millimeter. Do they, yeah, they should clear everything. Yeah, you're in good shape. You'll need four bearings for this 3D print. This you're gonna need Let's see. If I do a, a set pivot, that is just going to be that. Create a copy. I think it was 13. Why did it not show up? Oh, whoops. 
forgot to hit accept, and then it's going to be 13. So that, that's what I'm showing. That's You're going to print four of those bushings. No water table. I know. It's, we're cheaping out on you. But the reason is, I think that it actually will be cooler to see through it for a 3D print, for a scale, because not all, not everybody knows the difference between a water table and those being nicer than the uh, a regular plasma table. So instead, you'll be able to see through it. It has more bearings than a WPL D12. <laughs> nice. I like it. So print those four bushings or find your own version of a bushing. Drop those in. Uh, the spacer isn't on the right side. Oops. Yes, I added them. I moved them over. Even though it's not, I'll only upload it once. At least you guys can, can see what the point is. Now if I open up the appearance tab, duplicate this, edit, let's just do a lighter version just to to show the difference in the parts there you go hopefully it's not an eight hour print I want I want to laser this baby <laughs> I please Tag me on an Instagram story if you do. So, save. All right, let's do another another quick suggestion, another shop item, or a ridiculous item, but a quick one. So, I'm guessing this could easily be an eight-hour print, though. With all the detail of this, this rack and all that, I would have... I mean, I could have done a bunch of, oh, did I not combine that body? I did not. I need to do that. Combine that and that. Oops. Combine. There we go. Now we're good. Um, Something useful or a shop item as in a scale, a scale shop. Make a treadmill. I think that might be good for next. No, tire machine. Like these are, those are much longer items. Scale, but working tire, tire balance, Ooh, balancer. In scale again, that would be kind of tough. We need something quick, a quick item to break down. If I don't hear anything better, I'm going to go back to the shop back. Bench grinder, that's an easy one. Cleaned up that. We're in good shape. Box with a bearing mounted shift. <laughs> a lathe. We did a lathe. Tire balancer is just too big. To get it scale would take forever. Uh, Josh, what do you think about SSDs AR60s with centered rear diff? Going on Jenkins bouncer chassis. Have you ever used them? Curry D44s in my origin. Anywhere near the quality. Uh, are they anywhere near the quality of the VP? I, oh, you mean the metal ones? I don't know. I was going to say. The, I don't know. I mean, they're not the same. They're, But. You know. It's a Chinese equivalent. of You know, as close you're going to get, I guess. Bench mount drill press. Ooh, I like bench mount drill press. All right, we're going with Tim's, Tim Van Essen, quick drill press. So this one we're calling done, saved. Let's do a super fast drill press. Um, let's see, bench top. I mean, those are pretty, those are like 18 inches, 1.8. Um, I challenge you to make Sookie infusion. Isogen with a donation. <laughs> oh my God. 0.5 inches. No, it'd be actually 1.8 inches. Uh, 
Um, and the, what's the table with? 12 inches one? So I'm doing, I'm doing some very basic stuff at first, just to give myself a, an idea of what to go with here. Not putting any detail in first, really. 15. Since I'm trying to do this fast, I'm trying to sketch through as quickly as possible. Then I'll come back and add a bunch of different they're about 20 inches high total. So, okay. Um, so two inches, that's, I mean, that's shorter than this. I'm going to go with 65 to start. Oops. I joined that. You could print those both at once. Why, why not? Let's leave that like that. Yeah. Then we eliminate the need for one additional screw even. Actually, cancel. Let's throw throw radius. Then we'll do it chamfer around the top. We got to do some cuts on the side. Uh, Two, I'm going to do a uh, 22. Let's see what that, how that compares. I'm going to throw a radius around the inside so that then I can just select one line. Now we could, that is going to mean you're going to have to probably do a little bit of support underneath, but that's a pretty minimal amount. So so that's not so bad. Let's do two. Um, do the head as a set. Yes. Yeah, head will definitely be a separate part. I was even going to do the, the post as a separate part, but I don't think that that's actually, we're going to cancel. I'll just mirror the, uh, oops, I already exited the sketch, edit sketch. We'll do the, uh, table and the head as two separate. Do that, mirror it, hit OK. All right, now let's do a table. about there. So to a sketch, I'm going to project that diameter and I'll offset by 0.5, which is a little, a little loose, but we'll figure it out. 
and then we're going to do a two mil. I'm going to just do a oops, tangent of those. And 30 by 30 as far as the table part goes. That'll be all right. And make sure that these lines are tangent. Yeah. Oh, I need a perpendicular down here. Turn that. Five, yeah. Should definitely be a yeah, separate body. Now, the only thing is we need to make sure that it Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a sketch off this back. Now to hold the, uh, table rather than five to allow the table to still rotate. I'm going to just have you guys put a screw in the back side of the post and then the the table can still rotate but it'll you could tighten it down with like a button head and uh and you could keep it pretty tight then we don't need to go all the way through to ruin the look we'll just go in about like that all right so we still need to put some detail in this. We don't know where the head is going to be yet, but let's do, I'm just going to do a single hole. 10 is good. Six is fine. That now, my favorite. Some fillets. That. Okay, now we need to do the head. So we're going to do a... We'll do the head and the motor separately. And it will also kind of be a slip fit, 0.5. Uh, if you put multiple holes in the back, then made it peg to insert, we could put multiple holes in the back. That's an easy change. We'll go back and change that if you like. Super easy to do. If you have the desire to have multiple lengths, or multiple heights, not a problem. 35 line X. We'll have it go down over that about 10 and we'll actually do a two sided. The other one Go up about, I don't know, just making up numbers. And 
that. Um, that way you can vary what, oh, let's see. We are going to fill in the top of this. I think I actually went up like 11 or 12, but that'll be fine. New body, and then, well, something like that. Now, let me see. What other images, obviously lots of styles. Okay, we're gonna do grab that profile. I'm going to do Cut that part up a little bit, and then we'll do the actual spindle portion. Oh, I know what we need to do though. We need to make sure that the spindle lines up with the, with the hole on the bottom. Ooh, I was close. There we go. Do you guys want these two pieces separate? I feel like they should be two colors. I don't know though. I don't know if they I feel like they should be two separate colors. That's too far down. Chuck on a bearing. Oh, Dale, that's a... The whole thing or just the... Would it be too much if that whole part spun rather than just the... Yeah, it would be. It would almost have to be just the, just the chuck, right? I'm going to make this more complicated than it needs to be, but... So when we did that, we're going to do that as a new. So 11.5. Make it an old belt drive drill. I guess that's kind of what I had in mind. That would be negative, we'll say six. And then we'll go uh, eight millimeters. Okay, now this part is going to have to be I'm going to do, we're going to grab this and then I'm going to offset that by two. You're going to have to glue this piece in, go up by three. Okay. 
So you'll drop a five by 11 bearing in here. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna make a spindle that goes up and you'll screw into it and it'll ride on the bearing. So we need to hide that. Do that part, but I'm going to hide. I'm going to grab that profile, offset it 0.5, drag that up, and then we're going to turn off that. So now you've got a counter bore in there. Next. Okay. So um, we still need to put the motor on the back. Since the motors are always hanging in back there and then you have the belt up top, but we're obviously not doing the open belt part. So let's do the head though. Um, let me see. Actually, I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to offset a sketch from this up four millimeters because our bearing would be in there. I should draw the bearing, but anyway. Uh, Josh, can you get fast Eddie to make a bearing kit for your scale accessories? <laughs> yeah, it's just one five by 11 in a bag. Scale drill pass. <laughs> so we're going to go um, 4.5 and uh, 3.5. This I'm definitely just going to make as that bushing again. That one, it was five millimeters. So I'll just use the same STL as the other thing. So it'll be a bushing. I'm going to duplicate, edit, let me go, I'm going to do visual style change just to make sure that everything is I didn't offset. I offset that up. Fine. Eh, I could do that. It's fine. I'm going to still go with that. It's going to give me a little bit of slot, but that's okay. So this is going to be our 2.6. I know I usually do 2.5, but trying to give a little bit of And project that and I'm going to offset that inward by negative 0.5. Read that as well. That's going to be our chuck. Fill it on the end. That. Now, I know I didn't put a separate hole or anything like that, but you'll have a 5 by 11 bearing up there, a single 3 millimeter screw in there, and then this will spin bearing supported. So we need to add the motor in the back. And I feel like that suggestion from before with multiple peg locations was a good, actually undo. 
I'm just going to do a rectangular pattern, select that. We'll do something like that. I hit OK, but I'm going to raise this to 40. Edit. Hit OK. So there you have four different adjustments. Chuck, no, no Chuck. It, this is this is a keyless Chuck, so it's high quality. Let's do cut here. We're gonna throw some sort of very rudimentary motor on the back of this, and call this our final details. That, now, let's throw we're going to do tangent to there and here. line, construction line to the origin, just so that we have it good and centered. Too much motor? That looks good, right? Now let's do Something like that, and maybe we do a, let's do a we're going to do like a little, uh, you know, control box on the oops. Select, it was on that, we're going back to window. There we go. That join. Uh, Josh is on a chamfer kick tonight. Not many radius has been hit. <laughs> You know, every time, every, every once in a while, you got to mix it up a little. Something like that. Now, I'm going to do a circle 6.5. And we're going to cut that up like there. There, circle. Going to be 3.5. That's going to go up to that level. And lastly, we're going to do a a hole there. So you'll screw the. Uh, You'll screw the motor on from the bottom side. How do you lower the drill thing? You're asking a lot, Vidjo. You don't. Oh, you mean the actual, you need the actual part. I'm going to say it's not going to be functional, but yeah, you actually do need the, the actual handle, huh? Okay. That, I believe, is a reasonable request. As unreasonable as most of these are. Okay. That seems uh
five. Is that going to be enough? So we're going to do, we're going to, let's see. My concern, eh, we've got, we should have enough walls. I'm just worried about having enough uh, meat in there to get the, get a small screw in to Let's go 3.5. Whoa, why'd that go there? I'm going to grab some geometry off that. Why not? Line. Yeah, six. Let's yeah, go like that. That'll give us a... I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Can I go 6.5? Yeah. So that gives me an area there. Two point five. So you have to be careful not to collide with your bearing, but that'll get oop, we missed missed that one. So that'll give us that. Now we need a three point five by six point two five. Is that going to be? Am I going to clear? Yes. New body, okay. Barely, but yes. All right, now we need to do a I'm gonna do a line that goes up. That didn't that's not what I wanted. Line, not circle. Too used to hitting C for circle. That will do it two point. Uh, let's just go three. So it's a little bit more robust. I'm going to try and I'm going to make this pretty well flat so that it prints well. Ten. That and then we'll just do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, so we're going to circular pattern. Is that is that is not a feature, that last feature. Select the axis, it's gonna be that, three of them. Okay. Hit okay. Now we're gonna do small chamfers on all of these. Again, yes, I am doing chamfers, but they're gonna be so small that.
let's see what let's see if we can get anything here that's gonna Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Let's go one. So you'll put that on. Close. Oops. Gonna add a little bit of dress up on the housing. That we need an HD, right? Let's do the side. Front's too small. Text. HD impact. That's weird. There we go. Weird. Negative point four. How is the top going to attach the post? It won't, it'll just, it sits over. There's a, uh, go to inspect section analysis. If we just do that, you can see it slips over. Um, I knew I had a little bit of a gap there, but some of that adjustment will come into play. So um, it'll all be able to rotate around. You, If you want it to stay in one place, then uh, a little shoe goo, whatever you want. You'll screw the motor in from the back. The head, you'll have to shoe you into place. There'll be a bearing in here. Next Sunday, do a bandsaw. Oh, that's a good one. Bandsaw is a great suggestion. I like that. Um, there you go. There you go. There you go. Cancel. Done. Bearing support. You'll have to get yourself a little drill bit, heat it up, and stick it in there. We're calling this one for tonight. Thanks for joining everybody. We got two uh, two good looking accessories done. You got your CNC plasma table and your uh, drill press. Let's uh, oh we better save this drill press. Good stuff. Gonna need a bigger scale shot. <laughs> more like yeah uh, before you go hit the like button appreciate it uh thanks as always great time so uh yeah hit that well uh i'm gonna get these all these models separated and uploaded and they'll be on my thingiverse which is linked in the description you'll find them there in the next uh hour and a half or so so hit that then start printing appreciate it We'll see you guys Tuesday for Scale News Update. Maybe tom not tomorrow. Tuesday, Scale News Update, first one coming. And then a bunch of new stuff this week. So can these files be tweaked after they are uploaded? Um, Not really, because I upload STLs, and STLs are really hard to modify. Um, so not easily. But, you know, yeah. So it's not impossible. You could redraw certain things and then adjust from there. But beyond that, you'll probably just have to draw something similar yourself. You know, use the use the methods, use the the versions, and and go. Some simple parts like this, you could take an STL, and you could actually get it modified probably. But other things might be a little bit more done. You'll have a busy scale news update only with <laughs> with the <laughs> pro line this week. Yes, yes, I will. <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.